This is real life. So I have my delicious lunch here. Sweet potatoes, little bit of butternut squash, a morning star spicy black bean veggie burger with cheese and avocado, and a bowl of fruit and some water. I'm gonna eat this and watch my girls on YouTube. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to pass the GRE, everybody's favorite topic. So this isn't normal, usually my videos are health and fitness and mindfulness, happiness related, but today I wanted to do something that's real life because it was something that I just did. So first of all, before you do anything else in your life before preparing for the GRE is get this book. Perfect. Okay, so this book, The Kaplan Test Prep Premier 2017, this book saved my life. So there's literally, like as you can see, I have like notes and stuff all over it. So it says there's six practice tests, online book, videos, mobile, 2,200 practice questions, 20 online quizzes, and 120 minute online video. And so basically I just read this book cover to cover and that's honestly all I did for the GRE. Like I, let's look in here. So practice tests are honestly the biggest key to passing the GRE. Just continually practicing the skills that you're learning in here is so vital. So this book really more shows you what tricks it's like more how to understand this test and how to take this test and understand how they're wording the questions and things like that more so than your actual knowledge, which is kind of messed up that you just have to learn how a test maker is taking a test, but whatever. So as you can see, there's like, it's like a huge book. There's so many practice tests in here. So first of all, I'm not sure how much you know, but the beginning of the book will break it down. So there's a, um, First of all, you write two essays, and then there's a verbal reasoning section, quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning. So there's six sections, and it takes four hours. So you just go sit in a text, test session, You go sit in a standardized test center. Luckily, my university had one, so didn't have to go very far. And I was there for three and a half hours at least. So it will take, honestly, the whole time. You get like a couple of breaks, but they're really strict. Like if you leave the room, they you can't take anything. And when you come back in, you have to get scanned down by a metal detector and like patted down in your pockets and stuff. It's crazy but it is on a computer and they walk in every 10 minutes to check on everybody and like just monitor. And there's cameras in the room the whole time on your, like on your desk. And so it's a little bit high pressure, but just some things that people might not tell you. So I guess I should have started with that background, but so now let's backtrack to this book. So honestly, it'll give you like, the book will give you like a section of starting with verbal reasoning on the three subsections that will be tested. So there's sentence equivalence, te text completion, and reading comprehension. So it'll break down those types of questions, you'll practice it, and then there'll be a practice set at the end. And I would just highly recommend doing the entire practice sets, like sit down and do like a chapter a day. That's what I did. That's what I did for my personal training certification. And that's worked the best. 
Um, so going through this book, just dedicating time every day so you're not forgetting it. Another thing that I did, oh, there's also a full practice test at the end of this book. I did not do that. I probably would next time just so you get a feel for the actual, how long it is, like four hours. I was getting really antsy by the end. Whew. So another thing I did was print out 180 common GRE vocab words because vocabulary is a huge part of verbal reasoning. There are gonna be all these strange words that you've never seen before, but I used to do this like going back to high school, like going through all the vocab words every day and just checking off ones that I knew and trying to do ways to memorize and learn them every single day. So just taking that time every day is gonna be a major key. Another thing, let me get my phone out, is downloading some apps. So let's search GRE Prep. So one, I'll just come right here. The top one right there, GRE Prep Math and Verbal is good. It'll give you like a question of the day. And the bottom one, Magoosh, the middle purple one, is fabulous. It's a way to test um, yourself on different vocab and it helps you learn different vocab for the GRE. And the top one, the GRE Prep Math and Verbal, will just do different, um, do different practice questions and stuff. So doing those every day, Honestly, just knowing that you're preparing for a big standardized test of stuff that will help you in grad school is the best mindset to go into it. So really taking that time every day is crucial. And then just doing those practice questions on your phone whenever you get a chance. Um, then make sure you register. <laughs> so go on to the ETS website or whatever it is and you'll pay for the test, register. It is kind of expensive, but I mean, that's why you only want to take it once. And so then, after the GRE is over, they actually show you your score right away. And when you get there, you have to bring like your ID and that's it. You can bring your phone, they give you like a little locker. Um, but then they show your score on the screen, which I was surprised. I was like, oh, those are my scores. Everything except your writing because those essays get sent off to professionals who grade them and then put them on your online account. But so then I got those back within like 10 or 15 days and right after the GRE, while I was still in the room, I could send my scores to the schools that I'm applying for up to five, so, or four, something like that. So I sent them all there and then I could get on the website and send one additional one to one extra school that wouldn't fit on the day of. So. So all in all, I hope that was pretty helpful. Honestly, I know there's not much to it, but I think some people just don't know where to start with these big, scary standardized tests, especially if you don't have much guidance or people willing to help you kind of just figure it out on your own. That's something that I specialize in. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys like this video, share it with someone else. Hopefully it was helpful and it'll help you on your GRE. Let me know if it helps and how it goes. Um, like this video and subscribe if you like the content that you see today and you like learning about fitness and health and all these types of things. My name is Sydney. I'm a personal trainer, online coach, group fitness instructor, um, all of that. And I'm still on my own fitness journey. So you can follow me on Instagram if you're interested in that. I share all of my updates and things there as well. I'll put my names over here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. And good luck on that GRE. Bye.